See, look at, look at what it says in verse 31 of John chapter 9. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him, hear, him he heareth. We always stop at the first phrase. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. See, God don't hear, hear sinners. Um, it's qualified. But, if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Amen. This was a devout guy. Cornelius was. He's a devout guy. He feared God. He did the will of God that he knew. Give to the poor. That's all he knew. He did that and he prayed. And God says, okay, I'll hear that one. I'll hear that one. Look at uh, Psalm chapter 66. Psalm 66. There's a bunch of these verses here, but I, you know, we're not going to look at all of them. Psalm 66. Look at verse number 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. See, that's qualified also. If I regard iniquity in my heart, obviously there's times there where this devout man Cornelius wasn't regarding iniquity in his heart. Look at Proverbs chapter 15. Mm. Proverbs chapter 15. <coughs> verse number 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. So it implies that he doesn't hear the prayer of the unrighteous. That's true. He doesn't have to, but we're going to show you some things here. Look at Proverbs 28. Proverbs chapter 28, verse number 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. No. That can include you. Amen. And you're wondering why you're not hearing a whole lot from God. Amen, brother. Hey, man, why don't you just turn, like, repent, confess your sins. I'm not talking about for salvation, but First John 1, 9 says if we, the faith people, Amen. confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all righteousness. Uh -huh. Why don't you ask God to forgive you your sins first? Then maybe he'll entertain your petition. Amen. Oh man, we just think Jesus now that we're saved, you know, he's just gonna you know, roll over and be our genie in a bottle whenever we want to call him out of it. Look at first Peter chapter three. See, we were looking at verses there that imply that God doesn't hear the prayer of wicked people, people that aren't turned to the law, and so forth. But you can't say that God doesn't ever hear the prayers of those that aren't saved. Because in Acts chapter 10, I just showed you one where it, where it says that He did. So now you got to figure out what, what do those verses that do imply that, what do they really mean there? What is going on there? They don't contradict. So what's the whole story? 1 Peter 3, verse 12 for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them to do evil. So here would be another verse that seems to imply that he only hears the prayers of the saved. Now let's look go back to Psalm sixty six again. I only read verse eighteen. See what happens when you proof text things? You don't read the whole context. That's why that's why uh you got to be careful just proof texting things. Bouncing around, I know this verse and that verse, put it with this verse and that verse. You can make the Bible say anything. you got to leave it in its context. Look at verse number 16 of Psalm 66. Come in here, all ye that fear God. Didn't Cornelius fear God? Yes. Come in here, all ye that fear God. That's not all saved people. Uh -huh. And I will declare what he hath done for my soul. 
I cried unto him with my mouth and was exposed with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But, verily God hath heard me. He hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Amen. See, God can turn away from your prayer. God can turn away from the lost person's prayer. And a lot of times he does. That doesn't mean he always does. That's where you got to be careful when you start saying always and never. Look at Psalm or Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 1. Chapter. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 28, starting at verse 28. Uh, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Amen. See, there's something about the fear of the Lord that'll that'll get God to hear you, right? uh -huh. whether you're saved or you're lost. Amen. And too many times we think God, like I said, is just a genie in a bottle. You think you can live any old way you want to live, and you'll just call out the genie to make everything all better after you made your mess. Uh huh. It don't work that way. Clean up your own mess, and God might help you. Back to Acts chapter 10. You know, it's like we told you before, that word hear, you know, talking about God not hearing your prayers, it doesn't mean He doesn't, doesn't audibly hear people all over the world praying. It's in a, court, in a legal sense. You can, you can approach, you can approach, a, in a courtroom, you can approach the bench or approach the bar and, and present a case before the judge and he hears you presenting your case he, he audibly the sound waves hit his eardrum the information goes in but he says I ain't hearing that get that out of my courtroom I'm not hearing that case I'm not going to give you a hearing it's out of order he didn't ask in my name or whatever, like what Jesus says, he prayed in my name. You're out of order. Now, here's the difference between the saved and the unsaved. You have an officer of the court on your side. You have an advocate. You have Jesus Christ. Amen. So even though you're just, a, a, you know, we're all just a bunch of idiots, you know, a lot of times we go into court, you know, it's like... This advocate will be like, just shut up. I'll speak for you. <laughs> and Jesus will speak on your behalf. Or the Holy Ghost. What the Bible says. Because sometimes we don't know how to pray as we ought to pray. But the Holy Ghost will intercede. And be like, pay no attention to that moron. You know what he needs? He needs to take a pants, God. Amen. the court and throw him in the lockup. Amen. I'm not talking about hell. I'm just talking about ch the chastening of the Lord. You know that Holy Ghost will testify against you if you're not if you're not right with God. So you think you can hide? You think you can do your thing? <laughs> okay, <laughs> keep thinking that. Okay, back to Acts chapter.